So next up, let's look at how to model a fork. So for this one, I guess I can hide the spoon. Uh, and then I'm just going to position the cursor right in the middle. So cursor to world origin. Oh, sorry, shift S, cursor to world origin. Then go shift A, mesh, add a plane. Okay, uh, what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to choose uh, the number of uh, these uh, pointy things that come out from the fork. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit control R. And then just scroll up to choose how many loops that I want. So I need to make sure that I select the number here carefully so that they are even out on both sides. So I need to have one over here, one over here, one over there, and one over there. And I think that, that should be enough for a fork, I think. Or well, let's just go one, uh, two more. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Okay. Um, so I think that's a good base to start off with. I might also go ahead and hit uh, create two loop cuts over here. And then from the top view, I mean from the front view, just keep G, Z with proportional edit editing still on. I scroll it down a little and just move it down like so. Just select everything and move it up above the world origin, I mean the, the object origin. So we get something that looks like that. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to change over from vertex select mode to edge select mode. And then just select every second edge over here where we want these um, pointy parts of the fork to come out from. So I'm gonna, now from the side view, I'm just going to hit E and then extrude out about as far as you want your, uh, your fork to be. Maybe something around there would be good. Uh, and then while I'm here, I might also go ahead and create three loop cuts Oops. for each of the, the pointy bits, like so. Then go ahead and select each of these pointy bits, I mean these, these edges over here, and then uh, scroll up to increase the influence of the proportional editing, and just try to give a little bit of a curvature to it. Something like that. Okay. Um, now, we want to thin out the parts over here because a fork tends to sharpen out as it gets towards the end. So go ahead and select the these edges at the top over here. And then what we want to do is we want to scale it on the Y axis. So we go S, Y. I uh, also turn off proportional editing for this one. So disable. Then go S, Y. Now you notice that it doesn't um, scale properly. We want to scale each on its individual, uh, like on its, on its individual points, not all together as one, if that makes sense. So in order to do that, we need to change this from median point to individual origins, so that it will it will scale on its own. I don't know how to explain that properly, but if I go S Y, you'll see what I mean. It scales on its own kind of thing. And I guess we can turn on proportional editing for this one actually. Then let's turn up the influence. And go S Y. Oops, sorry, S Y. And let's do something that looks like that. All right. And while I'm over here, we might just select these ones over here. And go S Y and scale it up on the Y axis. Maybe something that looks like that. Yeah, that's starting to look like a proper fork now. Okay, and uh, now while we're over here, we may, we may as well merge these verts over here. So I might go Alt M at center. I know we're creating a triangle triangular face, which is generally looked down upon in the modeling world. But uh, we're not this. Technically speaking, this model is not going to be animated, so I don't care too much about the tri triangle. But when, when I say animated, what I mean is it's not going to deform or anything like that. So I don't have to worry too much about artifacts and weirdness going on over here. Let's just keep it simple like that. Okay, uh, now we can shape out this part over here. So uh, I'll go S, Y, so S, Y, uh, and then maybe, uh, yeah, S, Y, and then, uh, yeah, something like that. But I want to make it look a bit more rounded. 
make it really thin about the, the, the thickness of the handle that you want to have. But then over here, I want to alt right click that edge loop and then scroll down and then make it more rounded out. And then this one as well. Yeah, something that looks like that. Okay, so once you're done with that, alt right click to select this edge loop over here. And then do the same thing like we did with the spoon. Just go out and control left click uh, and create this kind of a curvature. So control left click, control left click, control left click, and one more. And that should do it. Okay, so we've now created the basic shape of our fork. Let's just go ahead and style it out. I mean, give it a bit of more interesting shape by, you know, maybe scaling this on the y-axis, scaling this on the y-axis. Hold right click and scale this on the y-axis. This one on the y-axis too, maybe. And this one as well. I uh, might go ahead and change this to vertex select. Uh, maybe not. We might round this out by going grab on the X. Sorry, GX. I'll just try and round it out further. Grab X. Create that type of a shape. Cool. Maybe over here we might. And over here, alt right click on I mean not B and then box like that one, scale it on the y axis, thin it out a bit more over here, get that kind of a shape. Maybe just alt right click this one over here, scale it out just ever so slightly. Go to face tag mode, alt right click to get this loop over here but then we don't want to select everything, so hit C and then uh, hit the scroll button to get rid of these faces. I mean the middle mouse button. So middle mouse button click and drag. Oh, actually we want to have maybe this one, maybe even this one. And then with proportional editing on, we will just scroll down and then just increase the height like we did with the spoon to give a more interesting curvature shape. If you want, you can make this shape a little bit more interesting too by, uh, I don't know, increase. Uh, oops, sorry. Maybe selecting these three and then moving up a little bit. Selecting this one, moving up. Give a more interesting shape there. Cool. So the basic shape on the fork is now done. So basically, now we need to go ahead and give it some thickness. So add modifiers, solidify, same thing as before. Give it the amount of thickness that you want. So maybe something like that. And then uh, go ahead and apply it once you're happy with it. Tab into edit mode, control R, add a loop cut over here. So if I go to vertex select mode, uh, let's turn off this uh, see through thing. Go ahead and hit control R, and then we want to add in a loop cut over here. Left click just to put it into place. Then I want to go ahead and select, uh, uh, double tap A to deselect everything and then select all these uh, verts over here. And then what we want to do is go S, Z, or, yeah, actually we'll, we'll just go S so we get something that looks like that. Okay, so the shaping of the fork is now done. So finally, uh, we need to add in a subdivision surface modifier just to smooth everything out. So go to add modifier, add in the subdivision surface, it's looking okay, maybe we'll uh, jump up the views once more, and then finally go to object, shade, smooth. And then we get something that looks like that. Now if you find that th this corner here looks a bit weird, just tap into edit mode, go ahead and add in a loop cut over here, and then just drag it closer to 
that. So left click drag over here, control R, left click drag over here, control R, left click drag over here, and control R, left click drag over here. If you want, we can, uh, nah, let's just leave it like that. And I think that is looking okay. If you want to increase, uh, have a bit more area over here for the food, uh, let's just turn on show whole, tra whole scene transparent. You can select all of that, maybe go back to vertex select mode, select all of that and then just drag it out so that we have a bit more space where we can uh, keep the food. So it's easy, to, it's quite easy to customize. Maybe a little bit more, a little bit more rotation. Uh, we want to get a better curvature than that, maybe we just get a nice curve thing going on. Right click and scale this down a little. And yeah, I think that's looking looking quite good. That is how to model a fork in Blender 2.8. So I've been practicing a bit over here a little bit shortly, but anyways, I'll call this one fork. And with our spoon next to it. Oh, I made the spoon a little bit smaller. Let me just scale this down. Control. Uh, uh, G Y, and then because I scaled it down, I want to apply that scale. So, Control A, apply scale. So now it becomes a scale of one. So the spoon and fork are now complete.